What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again. I have the Kershaw Link to show you guys. This is the one with the aluminum handle and drop point blade. Uh, so I saw that this was USA made from Kershaw. It was at a cheaper price point. So I was like, ah, oh, what the heck, I'll buy it. And when I got it, I was, I was pretty impressed. And then I had some kind of misplaced criticisms uh, of this knife that I have just grown to love this thing in every aspect of it. And I'll kind of go over what I was thinking before and, you know, what I think now. And what I think now is genuinely what everyone else in the knife community uh, thinks. And that is that this is a stellar knife at a great price uh, with just some excellent, you know, fit and finish and stuff, which we'll talk about and I'll show you. So let's do the specs. Uh, I'll tell you a couple things about it that I love, just a few that I don't really like. And let's get into this. We have a three and a quarter inch blade, a 4.4 inch handle length, and then a 7.6 inch length overall uh, with a weight of 4.7 ounces and a blade thickness of 0.11. Nice thin blade. Uh, that 4.7 ounces is a little bit heavy for this medium sized EDC knife. Uh, but you know what, guys? I really don't care. It's, it's kind of hard to say as a knife guy that you don't really care about weight, but just how this thing is performed for me, how it looks, and just how much I like it. This thing could weigh six ounces and I wouldn't really care because I like it that much. Uh, so if we move in towards this blade here, three and a quarter inches, my favorite length for EDC. Uh, Kershaw Speed Safe USA written there. As you can see, the whole thing has got a heavy black wash finish, really hides your wear. Also looks really cool. Uh, there's your model number, made in the USA. Uh, swedge taken out here. Uh, this does have a hollow grind. And then this drop point shape, uh, was, I wasn't too fond of it at first. And, you know, it didn't seem like it'd be very good at any piercing tasks if I had to. Uh, it just seemed kind of awkward to use. And as I've used it more and more, I've loved it. It's, there's so much belly to it. There's so much cutting surface for three and a quarter inch blade. And that tip is just ext extremely sharp, and they left it reinforced just a hair with that swedge taken out. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my other video where I talked about some of the knives that got me. Uh, this was one of them, uh, because this thing is just wicked sharp. And the blade seal on this is 420 high carbon, and that's something that you hear from Buck, not from Kershaw very often. And I think they went with that choice just because uh, this is a different knife for them, something made in the USA that's at a budget price. I think they wanted to make this one stand out a little bit in their lineup. That's just kind of my theory. So overall, guys, I love this blade. I love everything about it. I wouldn't change it. I know this one comes in a serrated version now as of 2016 and a Tonto, uh, but I just think this drop point is just where it's at. That brings us to deployment, which is by this flipper tab here. Just a couple little jimping on it. It's pretty small. Uh, but it's so easy to access and the speed safe in this knife just rocks. It's so quick So quick. I mean you can see my arm shake at, you know on my handshake as I deployed it. It just really rockets out there It's almost an automatic speed uh, So if you're looking for something that's got some some kick behind it look no further So n nothing wrong with that deployment. I really like using it and playing with it. There is no thumb studs or anything like that uh, your liner lock here Full stainless steel liners. I think these are uh, bead blasted. Uh, and they're fairly thick. I think that's where a lot of your weight is coming from. That 4.7 ounces. Hitting really nice. I've never had any lockup problems with this. Which is surprising. Because you know, at, you know as liner locks get used. Uh, some blade play tends to develop. And th this one's just been really good for me. <laughs> you have your external stop pin back there. Something I should probably start mentioning, whether it's internal or external. Uh, centering is absolutely perfect. And then your handle material here, guys. Oh, 6061 anodized aluminum. It's got this kind of battleship gray to it. Looks awesome. The whole thing's got some nice just chamfering all around so it, you don't have any sharp edges. That just nice aluminum feel. Nice and flat here. It fills your hand nicely. You can kind of put it in this grip. Uh, and that Filipino grip feels great. Uh, reverse grip is actually pretty good. You got a nice little area to rest your thumb there. Uh, so, 
You guys don't need to hear me rave about the aluminum anymore, but you guys do have this American flag here, just another way of them saying that this is American made and they're they're proud of that, which is which is great, which they should be. Um, you just kind of uh, got the black washed hardware here. This knife is very easy to disassemble. Uh, full backspacer, I'm assuming this is a glass full nylon. It's got some ribbing all along it. Uh, it really breaks up that color with your battleship gray kind of aluminum and then your stainless steel liners and then you got your black here which matches the blade a little bit so overall guys i think this is a very cool looking knife i love carrying it you can see i got little wear marks on it i hope uh that this knife just gets even more worn for me uh, and i forgot to mention this clip um i think this is the hinderer design clip it seems to be on his knives the most on his designs through kershaw and uh, I, I didn't like this clip when I got it. I really didn't. I just didn't think it fit the knife. And uh, it's just another one of those things that's grown on me. I mean, you're going to ride right around there. You got Kershaw written on it. Uh, but it does match the knife. And, you know, I'd love a deep carry clip. But I think this one performs just fine. And it's something a little different, you know, that strays away from your standard kind of Kershaw clips, which I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with. So... Uh, you do have an oversized lanyard hole here. Uh, very easy to throw your paracord or whatever you want through there. Uh, so guys, why do I think this is such a good deal? I mean, 420 high carbon isn't an amazing steel. Uh, there's nothing about this knife that is just oozing value when you look at it. But if you really get close with it, you have an excellently finished blade, a great drop point shape, uh, one of the best speed safe actions I've seen. And trust me, guys, I own a lot of Kershaw's. Um, if you like aluminum handles, this is great. I mean, they do offer it in a glass filled nylon version as well. If you want something, I think it's a little bit cheaper as well, but if you don't like the, the non grippiness of aluminum, they do have that in the plastic handle. Uh, it is USA made and the fit and finish is just insane for the price you pay. I mean, look how well the liners, uh, you know, in this aluminum handle and this backspacer line up. Now I'm not a, you know, a, a knife connoisseur where i'm buying customs but i know that that is awesome fit and finish for this price point you know because i have some knives that cost twice as much i don't have that everything just seems to fit very nice together uh your blade centering is just perfect which is also unheard of uh your lockup your your deployment is just so strong in this knife you know one of my only criticisms as of now when i've had this knife for a very long time is that it's it's blade to handle ratio is just a little bit weird uh, where your handle just feels like it's, you know, a quarter inch short. If this was just a quarter inch longer, I think I would like it even more. And it's definitely not too short where I'm getting a three finger grip or anything like that. It's just, uh, there's something about the shape of it. I mean, it's nice and sloped. I just wish it would come out just a little bit farther. And that's really the only criticism I have of this Kershaw link anymore. And by the way, if you guys didn't know, the link is because, uh, the name is because this is the link between expensive American-made knives and budget-friendly knives. So this is, you know, that bridge that links those where you can get a good American-made knife for a good price. So guys, I highly recommend this knife. If I'm going to make a favorites list, this one will make it uh, in the aluminum for sure. So thanks for, for watching, guys. I hope this was entertaining to you. Uh, I will be bringing you guys more videos all the time. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a good one.